Hello and welcome to Virtuos. I've been trying to figure out a way to create plausible water effects in terrain building without the use of resin or any hobby water effects and once again I'm experimenting with a new technique involving PVA glue. To find a small use for it before making something larger like a, a lake or a river I realized I didn't have a fountain yet. So I pulled out my XPS foam and newly acquired knife and started cutting. Let's start off with the base sculpt of the fountain. I decided to make it 2x2 two two inch. I played D&D and games like Frostgrave so this will be used in both of those and the size is pretty good for those games. I used the knife to cut the outline of the square off to create a hollow ring and I will use the cardboard for the base. I've been trying to shy away from cardboard since it gets chewed so easily, so I've been liking those hard cardboard plastic files used in offices uh, for my terrain bases. I used the excess XPS to create kind of a platform on top of the fountain itself to add some flavor to it that way, and at this point I wasn't sure how I was going to decorate this, so we'll see how this turns out. Best way in my opinion is to just start crafting if you have a nice idea what you want and then go for it and improvise on the way. That way the crafting will come with its own surprises, sometimes you get surprised positively and sometimes of course not, but either way you learn something. So for the water effect, I had poured two layers of PVA glue on a plastic CD case and I had let layers dry in between each other. Once the whole thing was dried I just pulled it off with not much difficulties. You could use baking paper also for this I think, but the plastic CD case is pretty good. You could use this technique for example a slime monster or ground effects or waterfalls and I've seen videos where people do this with hot glue but PVA glue works wonders also, it's pretty usable for this kind of stuff. Also PVA glue dries transparent so I've always been thinking that there should be a more cost effective way to create water other than buying the resin from hobby shop. I cut the PVA film in the shape of the square and at this point I cut it a bit too much but it didn't really matter since I can just use the hot glue gun on the edges to fill the gaps and no one can really see the difference, at least from a few feet away. For the next decoration I bought a few miniatures on the cheap from eBay a while back and they turned out being way too small for any of the games I play so I painted one of them black and will glue onto the fountain. I painted the cardboard bottom with lightly diluted blue so that the nice puffy texture will stay and it's a good thing uh, to have the cardboard base already white. Next I glued the PVA layer on the square outline and glued the whole thing onto the base and adjusted accordingly. The next step was pretty much just gluing pieces together and trying to make it balanced and even and I also had to add quite a lot of glue on the bottom of the pillar holding the top part of the fountain and since we all know XPS foam isn't that sturdy when it's cut into thin pieces. I painted another layer of black on the statue. I wanted the fountain to look a bit ruinous so I added small sand on the edges of the fountain and I also glued small rocks on each of the corner to give it some uh, like a highlight texture with that. Once again a whole coat of black on the white parts. Thank you. 
I like to put very hard highlights on the edges of these kind of rock formations so at some points here I will not even dry brush I will just legit put white on the edges to make them look sharper so dry brushing it's not always the best thing to do in this kind of situation. Finally, I use silver color to add details to the edges of the fountain and on the rocks and now it's ready. I like how the water effect turned out, maybe it's a bit too blue in my opinion, but I will be using the same technique later on also to experiment how it works out. It looks plausible as I said in the beginning when I'm not using the resin. Of course the resin is better always, but if you're trying to find a cost effective way to create something like this, the PVA glue might work to some extent. And in this video I think this looks more maybe like ice than water. But with a little bit of experiment, I think we can make this work in the future. Tell me in the comments how your experiences with alternative water effects have turned out. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.